Hello, Lady on the Fox, Simon, Shelley, and Siobhan are with me today. Um, so it's Vlogmas day 14. It is dark. It's half past four. I have spent the whole day taking photos um, of stuff to list on eBay because that's what my plan was. I knew that it was like really sunny today and I wasn't going to waste any of that opportunity. So I have all of those chinos there photographed ready. So once I've done this video, I'm going to list some of them. It was like the first opportunity that I had where it was actually like really sunny in here, um, which poses its <laughs> poses other issues because for some reason you get overexposed and I get like shadows on things because the light in the winter is just not, it's never right. And for some reason, the bright sunlight hits on the wall there and then it reflects down on the carpet here where I'm trying to take photos. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. And because it was decent light as well, I found that there was loads of stains I've missed on things which I thought were okay, which now makes me wonder about all the stuff which I photographed when it was kind of overcast. So I feel like I should like photograph bunches of stuff in the, in the summer months to get myself ready for now. I should like go absolutely crazy um, at the end, at the end of, um, in the middle of October before the clocks go back. Anyway, today's video is a charity shop haul of items I picked up yesterday from the charity shop, which I'm going to sell on my eBay shop. My intention is that I am going to put everything into like for like piles. So like coats, tops, jeans, and I'm going to photograph all of that tomorrow. Now that I've done the chinos, I have another two boxes of stuff there. One of which I think I've done haul videos for. One, I don't think I've done haul videos. So I'm going to do another haul video tomorrow. <laughs> because, I'm, you know, let's face it, we'll run out of ideas for Vlogmas. And there's not that many um, pillar videos that resellers actually do anyway there's only 10 things i know that i spent 30 pounds yesterday so i know that there's 10 things here because they're all three pounds each and i've just taken the tags off and put them on my spreadsheet um so that's my uh, my other goal for um december once this flipping christmas tree is up here that's another reason i want to do those photos so i can put the christmas tree up um i'm going to do my accounts make sure all my spreadsheets are up to date so things that i have got i have got a boring black dress um <laughs> um i think if this was hobbs this would be like an absolute winner because this part of me was like thinking oh this is like a, this is an absolute winner but it's not if it was this style and it was hobbs then it would be great um but it's actually hush so obviously hush used to be a really good resale brand but it's not so good now the star jumpers and the motive jumpers are still really good um but i don't expect to get much more than 15 to 20 for that it used to be like more like 30 to 40 um and this is a size 10 so yeah sleeveless button up technically it's summer i'm very envious of resellers who can like have a summer box because i've never been that lucky um i'm not i like to list the stuff which i've got i don't like it to be kicking around and i have sold a lot of summer stuff this last few months because people do go on holiday all the time it's not restricted to you know <laughs> the summer months so another this one's a short sleeve dress um obviously striped small again it's harsh i think i was in two minds and i think i put this one back and then i just do it do you know it's okay you know even if it is gonna have to wait six months it's okay because it's decent it's like the breton stripe is something that will sell so yes a harsh dress 
I think I was a bit reluctant with this one because this care label looked really odd. Um, I think that care label looked very odd, but it has got the, the spring summer. Is this spring summer 16? Um, so, I mean, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> it just looks a bit odd for a hush care label. The other one looks okay, but no, it is what it is. So another dress, <laughs> another dress here. Um, all of this was on a new rail that came out. So I just get the impression that, um, you know, maybe there are lots of other people. I don't, I think I'll sell this fine. Usually though, I sell these to Germany. Um, I don't know. That's another thing I've got to work out. I've got to work out what I've got to report to to Germany in regards to this packaging thing because I keep getting like emails in languages that I don't speak and I kind of wish I hadn't signed up for it <laughs> um <laughs> anyway this brand which sells really well to Ge in Germany is Kim and Co the last two dresses that I've had have gone to Germany in you know so literally six months ago so I've you know, I used, used, declared my Lucid um, membership, membership, <laughs> the, the group that gives nothing. Oh, sorry, that's annoying me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I don't, I don't think I've gone over my packaging allowance because I said a kilogram of plastic and a kilogram of card and that's certainly what I've sent over there. So I don't think I've got to do anything else. But there's something I've got to report and I, I don't know. If it's a faff, I won't do it next year. Right, so Kimiko. Maxi dress. Hopefully somebody in the UK will want that. It is only a medium. But like I say, they've sold really well to, the, to German folk. <laughs> I don't like being segregated from Europe. But I'm also glad that we don't have to get involved in this ridiculous packaging law. Because it obviously makes a difference because I sell stacks of stuff to the US and I used to sell stacks of stuff to Europe. Um, but I think it's the import charges as well because this, the items that I've had that have been posted to... I've had at least five things this year which I've posted abroad which have come back to me because they've refused to pay import charges so you know leaving the eu isn't good in that respect this is a day of the dead t-shirt um obviously you can see brown there cyber dog um they used to have a cyber dog in manchester don't anymore we don't anymore so it's only the one that they've got down there and they are really nice decent quality um as long as you don't want them in larger sizes i used to love wearing cyber dog but now i am a little bit bigger none of their stuff fits so because i'm a size 14 to 16 now and i've got a middle-aged arse none of their clothing fits me but you know they probably don't expect me to be going out clubbing and, and i don't <laughs> really it's not something you know, it would be something that's on my agenda so anyway um cyber dog i love cyber dog this will sell for about 20 to 25. There aren't any others on there. So maybe I'll try for 30. You never know. Somebody might be really keen, but I doubt it. So it probably will be a 25er. Uh, but they always have these like patches on the back. I think this is one of the older ones. So it probably is one of the ones we bought from the Manchester shop. But very pleased with that. And that doesn't seem to be a very used. All right, let's try and segregate some of this stuff so we'll actually hit the ground running tomorrow. I have got an Adidas t-shirt. Um, I mean, I could pick Adidas t-shirts up all day, but I try and restrain myself and not pick up too many. Um, but obviously this is a floral one. It is women's size 10. The last floral one that I had was like Commons de Gardens or something, I think. Maybe not, maybe I'm just being ho hopeful. But, um, I sold that one for 30 even though it was very bobbled. I mean, I would have sold it for 40 to 50 if it hadn't been 
um, piled and bobbled. But this is almost in brand new condition. I need to look this up. I'm not quite sure what it is. It says Her Studio London. I don't really know what that means. But it's, a, it's going to be a definite £20, if not £25. I've got a very sheer blouse here. Um, which just reminds me of how, you know, remember how hot it was and we couldn't, you know, live and now it's horrendous. So yeah, a sheer blouse. So you can see the guys <laughs> through the blouse. Um, that's old label Bowden. Uh, it's a size 16. It's not got the tag. But it's got two tags like a warning tag and spare button per tag so that should be a bonus but probably only 15 pounds i found that with t-shirts and blouses now i generally only get around the i only generally get around the oh come on don't turn around i only generally get around 15 pounds but i tend to put a lot of them on auction in the hope that something happens but it never does. <laughs> oh, the days gone by when eBay was an auction site. This is white stuff, um, and it it was a bit of a bun fight getting all getting because the new rail had come out. It is a size sixteen, but obviously it's it, it it's white stuff, so they've got to have some kind of curl on the label somewhere. It's a blouse with lace. Um, and it buttons at the back. I think it's absolutely disgusting, uh, but somebody will think that this is cute. Um, and those are the people who I'm going to sell it to. <laughs> um, I just don't like it. I think that's why I would have put it back because I don't like it. And I've spent three pounds on it, and I would have preferred to have spent two pounds on it. Um, I mean, I, this is the sort of thing that I would put on auction, but obviously it's not the season for it, so I'll put it on a buy it now, and then it will get forgotten about. <laughs> Um, so another t-shirt which I would like to put on auction but it's not the season for auctions even my jumper auctions don't really go anywhere at the moment so I've got that you know it's a floor t-shirt you can see that it's size 14 it's fat face basic I have a pair of jeans here I can't work out whether they're dirty or not. I, just, I think they need a freshen up. I've got a whole load of stuff which is in the washing machine, um, which I've treated for stains this afternoon. So I may as well I may as well just fling these in with it. So just a basic pair of jeans. Um, the reverse of what I need because I could really do with a waist thirty one and a leg. 28 but no it's the other way around um five one fours i think sell okay it's a pair of jeans <laughs> pair of levis pair of levis so yeah i'll put them in the wash because i'm i'm a bit i'm in two minds as to whether that stinks or not <laughs> um another fat face maybe i'll throw this on auction because i think that the last one that i had didn't really go anywhere um and it's or maybe i've still got it because it's pink um and i think i've got it up for 30 which is obviously too expensive i don't think it's got a zip on it so i need to put that on auction i need to try and like pull some auction things in so yeah it's a hoodie zip up hoodie um yeah that's about all i can say about it <laughs> Uh, fat face should sell for 25 should really sell for 30 but everybody's stony broke but you know if people are stony broke and they can't put the heating on they should buy this and sit um and you know cry on their sofa wearing this hoodie but they're probably if they're in that situation be buying from somebody who hasn't got it up for 30 so i think i'll possibly put it on auction try and get some interest going with the old auctions right let's kind of try and sort this out right let's put menswear there 
because there won't be much of it because I'm not that lucky. Okay, the last item that I picked up yesterday, another one of these things which I nearly put back. I, I don't know why, of course this is going to sell. I think it's just because the last thing I had of this brand, which I've now just buttoned up so I can't show you the brand. So I'll show you the brand. Um, it's Monsoon, but it's Monsoon Fusion. Um, the last thing I had from Monsoon Fusion was brand new with tags. Um, I've had it for at least two years. It was like a button back blouse. Um, yeah, it just did not sell. I just don't understand. I think I ended up selling that for a tenner. It just didn't make sense. And so based on that, I did, nearly didn't pick this up. But then that's ridiculous, isn't it? Because look at it. These, this is, I mean, this is a lovely coat. This is exactly the sort of thing that, again, people would want to sit on their sofa in while they contemplate their gas bill. Um or actually go outside, but I haven't been outside today. Thank goodness it was minus five. <laughs> the first time I'm pleased about there being a Royal Mail strike because I didn't have to go out and get cold. So yeah, it's wool. Well, it's not fully wool, but it's got fur line, a decent hood. I should be able to get 30 for that. I mean, for goodness sake. Oh, look, it's having me on now. It's having me on with this... Uh, toggle button nonsense it's not just toggle buttons anyway it's got poppers on there this should do all right shouldn't it uh, i haven't checked the pocket so it's probably got some ghastly secondhand mask in there 65 uh, percent wool and then the rest is like polyester garbage and acrylic and whatever else they can find lying around yeah so i, I you know for three pounds i mean that is a good buy that should surely sell for 30 to 40 pounds you would hope so <laughs> that was the last thing i picked up and that's going on my pile of coats so yeah 30 pounds spent i should get a decent return on that she says <laughs> overly optimistic it's not like i don't sell clothes it's just um sometimes it, i'm finding everything is so up and down at the moment you know and you, you sometimes you pick stuff up and you think it's great and then nobody else thinks it's great <laughs> they really like question my decision making sometimes um but may i think it's probably because that's me being picky. There was lots of stuff which I could get, could have got yesterday. It was a made in Italy. See, all that made in Italy stuff, which I've picked up in my previous hauls, none of it has sold. Um, and there was, I've got some really beautiful bits and they've not sold. And, and one of them is a coat that looks very much similar to that. And it's got a star on it and that hasn't sold. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe I do need to just thrust a lot of my really good stuff on auction. I probably just got it way too high, um, for, you know, for anybody to be interested. Um, and auctions bring all the buyers to the yard. So, yeah. Um, anyway, there was another Made in Italy uh, jumper there yesterday. It was very nice, uh, but it had a Christmassy design, so I left that um lots of other stuff stuff that i could just get and i could flip you know for an easy amount of money but i don't want to get a room full of stuff i have at the moment i have that and i have two boxes of stuff which is processing which needs processing and that's too much and then with my lego as well it just becomes too much so i don't like to have too much stuff out there so um yeah, at one point I didn't have much, but then obviously I got what, all that those wholesale chinos, so that's why I've sort of got a backlog because I've been dealing with other stuff. But anyway, that's everything that I got yesterday. A thirty pound spend um, should be a decent one. It's like things like the them are definitely. I think the five one fours are around the thirty pound region, but obviously it's saturated. So if I get a twenty five pound offer, I'll take a twenty five pound offer. So you know, I'm at least looking f for a hundred to hundred and fifty back on those thirty items. So it is a good, it's it's a good little haul. 
Um, I just need to go out more often, that's my problem. <laughs> but not this week, it's way too cold. Apparently it's going to snow at the weekend. That's what my husband's iPhone says. My Samsung phone's likely to say something else. Anyway, I'm going to do another haul video for you for tomorrow. Um, which I may well film now. <laughs> and tomorrow I am just going to spend photographing the hell out of everything before the sunlight flies off again. So, thank you for watching. This has been Vlogmas Day 14. Goodbye from me, goodbye from Simon, goodbye from Shelley, and goodbye from Siobhan. Adieu.